today this video is the long term review of the Greenworks 60 volt zero turn mower. Let's get your lawn on. Wow, it's hard to believe that I've had this mower for a year already. Time goes so fast, it really does. And you might remember that I did an extensive review on this mower last year and it was a fantastic video to make. The mower was just such a top quality mower. In that video I go pretty in depth with it all. I'll leave a link up here, maybe check that video out but because this is not so much of all the features and the functions but more how did it handle the long term use. The initial impression and the build quality was just first class all the way. It's really well built and very impressive indeed. A simple and robust design with thoughtful and clever features make this an excellent mower. And being battery it comes with the benefits. It's easy to use, it doesn't require maintenance and it's quite an operation. The mower takes its design cues from the Greenworks commercial series, the Optimus Z, which is well worth a check out. And note that they were released after this was released. It is a beauty. This mower performed absolutely amazingly through the course of a year. It really improved the quality of the turf. I was cutting anywhere in between three inches right down to two inches. I didn't totally abuse the mower with really rough mows, but I wasn't totally nice to it either. I put it through its paces doing some leveling jobs of some areas. I leveled a whole 4,000 square meter oval with this and it just really did well. And look, the battery really held up well and you know, the advertised two and a half acres, I really reckon you could do more with it. Just a quick side note, I just wanted to make mention that the way these come packed is just absolutely amazing. And when we got it delivered, it really brings back some fond memories for me. Amazing, thank you Greenworks. Sure, I'll give that a hand. Dad a hand right now and <laughs> as you know just me before um my name is Heidi and I'm the daughter of Matt <laughs> If you don't want to get the dealer to construct it for you, it is actually quite easy yourself. All you've got to do is put on the seat a couple of wires that instantly click in. It comes with everything that it needs to assemble it. And also you've got to do the lap bars and that's just a couple of bolts each. And away you go. <laughs> you actually spend more time deconstructing the platform that it comes on and getting it off than you actually do um, making up the mower. It's quite funny, but uh, once you've got it off, you might need yeah. a couple of ramps for that. Okay. It's really good You're to great. go and good fun. Well done. Oh. Come on. That was so nervous, nerve wracking. <laughs> awesome. So straight into the first mow, I picked it up really quickly and it just brought a smile to my face. That was fun, hey? That was. The lawn's looking better now. It is. In a matter of five minutes, we've just absolutely done that. Look. That mower is a lot of fun. So by now you've got an idea of how I use the mower. I used it one to two times a week on thick Kaikuya, about 1200 square meters, and used it for some leveling jobs, including that big, dirty and dusty oval. The mower handled everything with aplomb and it was just a fantastic machine to use. So before we deep dive and get really close and intimate with all the materials of the mower and how it all held up, if I could get you to like and subscribe, that will really help me grow, thank you very much. All right, let's take that deep dive. Okay, so for the full year, I didn't wash it once. So this is straight after a wash and it was just a quick karcher and a quick wipe down. Poor old Tucker here, he just wanted to play ball with me while I was trying to film this, so apologies for that. All the painted surfaces held up really well and there wasn't too many chips or anything. The gutter around the lip of the deck was a place where a lot of the material collected and stayed there and as you can see it didn't really affect it that much. I really liked that the electric motors were on top of the deck rather than under the deck although there was a place that uh, it seemed to collect a lot of debris just underneath where the motor is but that's a clever feature it kept the debris away from the motors. Underneath the deck is an uh, area that I really should have cleaned more as you can see. The mower frame is really solid and there's no imperfections here at all. And like I said before, I really like that those motors are on top of the deck rather than underneath. The greasing points are a super impressive feature and it just helps with the maintenance. There's a few impact points where there was a paint coming away a little bit but generally pretty good. Tucker's not interested, he just wants to play. Going to the front now, now, I had quite a few impacts and I'm quite surprised that there's no chipping or any damage here. And the mowing height lever and the way that it's got deep teeth and it's easily marked can be seen from the seat and I think that's a really good feature. The way the front wheels are assembled and put together and attached to the frame, it's a really solid setup and no problems there. 
Saga. <laughs> The foot base here really held up well to the traffic and I can't see any problems there at all. Just a few marks but nothing really bad. As you can see it's scrubbing up really well considering it's had a year's worth of good use. Now these stickers here, there was a bit of a surprise. I thought they were peeling away. I was going to make a bad comment about it but this is actually a protection cover. All the plastic parts of the frame, no problems there whatsoever. Now I didn't use these USBs but they work, that's fine. And this little area here has got some holes in there just so that the liquid can get out if there's any in there. High quality plastic and that can be shown at the back because I used that for quite a lot of things and there's a few marks there as be expected. Just the one little drain hole there, I reckon I could do with a few more. Going to the control panel here and then we'll just show you that I've done about 43 and a half hours over that uh, 12 months. A bit of wear showing on the blade startup button there in the red and the rest of it all nice and well made. Speaking of well made, the seat is an absolute highlight. It's such high quality. I mean, look at that stitching there. It really is good. I'm surprised the foam on the lap bars lasted because it felt actually like that kind of that flimsy foam. And here's another look at that beautiful stitching. That's not a stitch out of place after 12 months of use. The Emboss Greenworks Pro on the seat there looks really good too. It's really well done. It's a super nice touch, that's for sure. To the back of the seat here and it's a nice solid material no problems there whatsoever under the seat that's where the battery compartment is and that's where the batteries hide now the battery compartment and all the internals here and all the electronics just seem fine and that was under some quite dusty stuff especially when i did the oval and you'll see that some dust gets in there still works fine should just give that a clean with a um uh, with a blower or something like that just to clean that out would we'll just fix that up nicely got to make a special mention about these rear tires i do like having a bigger tire in a z turn super turf tires that they used here they were fantastic i found that going down to about 15 psi made a real nice um, cut to the lawn and look i really like the pro feature the commercial feature of having the guard here protecting the motors fantastic and that's why a lot of the genetics it's getting is coming from the commercial mowers the lip there's got a bit of damage because it did quite a bit of work there that's to be expected going to the blades now there was a couple of times that i did hit some concrete so i'm expecting them to be a bit damaged and look there's a little bit of damage there a little bit of uh, paint peel but not a heck of a lot most of that's actually dirt the underneath here you can see it's had a hammering and it needs a proper scrub the blades are holding up quite well you can see that little bit of damage there I and mean, it's from hitting concrete a few times and a few other hard things but all stayed intact it's all cutting well at the moment but you know she probably needs a sharpen or a change and it's quite blunt when i uh, checked it out here so yeah definitely needs a sharpen or a change the chute well i hit a couple of things with that but that held it together there's a few marks there obviously and look just look at the quality of the way that the motors are collected or everything here is just all connected really well all have a duty all uh, really really good cool thing is the lack of servicing that's needed there's no belts that need to be done there's no oil there's no filters there's no none of that it's all good and you know look under here it's just all nice neat and clean and solid i can totally recommend this mower it is withstanded a normal sort of uh mowing regime i guess and a fairly well looked after area and it's done some tough work as well especially living out that oval you're not going to be going wrong with getting a Greenworks Pro 60 volt, 42 inch Z-turn mower for, you know, your big yards or even your light commercial work. It's a great choice. Okay, so this certainly impressed in function and longevity. And the longevity that really shows how this was made so well. This is great for people with bigger yards, right up to the light commercial guys. Certainly is a fantastic mower. So we've had a great time with this mower, thanks to James and Greenworks. It's great to have an opportunity like this. To have it for a whole year is something a lot of manufacturers don't let me do. So thanks for that. And uh, it was good to put it through its paces, wasn't it? It was really good to put it through its paces and, and give you a nice balanced review. I don't think you're gonna have any issues getting this mower. And when we did the original video of the mower last year, could see that the market was just really ready for battery powered Z-turns because these went bananas, you had to get some more. And look, it's a fantastic product. Cannot recommend it enough. The one big disappointment with this mower, of course, is that I have to send it back. 
it was really good to test it out in the real world for a whole year and just see that this is a fantastic buy. Get your lawn on.